Well, they're trying the best they can to be prepared for that missing paycheck that they should receive tomorrow, but most likely it looks like they're not going to. They need that money like most of us or all of us to you know, pay the bills, feed the family, pay the mortgage. Now they have to figure out where that money's come from because it's got to come from somewhere else. Uh, I have two boys and um, my main goal is to make sure they're provided for and they have everything they need. And so not knowing when you're going to get paid makes that like <laughs> probably one of your worst moments as a parent. What people don't realize is one paycheck is huge. That is a huge thing for us. That's not, that's not just something we can get over. A lot of members live paycheck to paycheck. There are over 3,000 Coast Guard members stationed here in the Pacific Northwest. And because there are considered essential, they have to report to duty. And it's a good thing because this is video of the Coast Guard rescuing two surfers just this past weekend, north of weekend or north of Cannon Beach. Today I met these three women. All three have husbands serving in the Coast Guard and all three will miss a paycheck tomorrow. Stacy Benson, the one on the right, wanted to help out the others just like them. She started the Be The Light Food Pantry. The idea started Friday, gained traction over the weekend, and now she has these bins placed in eight different locations along the northern coast to collect food and hygiene products. We have uh, lower enlisted members of our Coast Guard that are actually, um, they're able to come to the food pantry um, and they're struggling because they don't have time and service to be able to save enough money to have that emergency fund set up to pull from during a time like this. That food pantry, it's open to all Coast Guard members, active duty and retired, and any federal worker affected by the shutdown. If you want to uh, partake and uh, see what the food pantry has, it's here in Astoria at the Masonic Lodge. It's open this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Back to you. Well, hopefully a lot of people support that food pantry. Missing a paycheck is a big deal for, for anyone, really. Thank you, Devin.